Ladies and gentlemen, opposition says to you that as parents you want to support your children to fight for your pride, regardless of the bully that you get on school, regardless of how much these people have, your children have suffered from the bully, have suffered from the stirs that is given to you. As parents, we think that that is evil on its own, and I'm scared to be their uh, children in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, what we say to you is that on government side of the house, these people really need these people really need protection in the first place. What these people need is to actually be supported in being more relatable to the society. Govern uh, opposition side of the house never explained to you why the relatability cannot be fixed, uh, cannot be the tipping point for the battle, uh, for the battle, uh, better cultural assimilation in the first place. We say to you that relatability is exactly the, uh, is exactly the parameter that this uh, is uh, that this majority will start to respect you because if we can relate from one, one other the reason why we, we gather around here is because our relation in the bay if we uh, if we only look from our appearance i certainly would not team up with my teammates right we say to you that we say to you that this relatability still exists relatability is the most important to get respect to get protection in the first place ladies and gentlemen two clashes is the bay one the, uh, the interest of parents, secondly, the protection that is from respect, right? First, parents. We say to you as governments of the house, what you want as a parent is for your children to be able to uh, at least sustain their own life. We have given you uh, we have given you enough portrayal that not even the blanket, uh, that not even the law can protect you, right? That because, or because of two things. My first speaker have already, have already told you two things. One is that even the even to the courtroom, then this uh, racial bias or religious bias that exists, the opposite never debunk this idea. Secondly, we already says to you that even uh, that even in the uh, that even with this, uh, that with the existence of law, there is not enough law that is supporting the uh, the. Uh, the social judgment and the uh, and the bigotry of these people. Opposition never given you enough analysis or example or proof on why this law is uh, this law certainly exists, right? Because what we see in the status quo, because what we see in this debate is that both parties, both the, uh, both teams, actually agree on promoting to have law. We will actually promote law in the first place. Now the re now the second question is whether or not each proposal outside of law will actually give you protection. What opposition gives to you is that two things. One, you will be confident, and secondly, you will be uh, one. You will be confident. Two, you will have the emotional, you have emotional bargaining position that is coming from your culture. We don't think that this is very, uh, very effective. They never given you the uh, efficacy of confidence in the first place. We already said to you in my speakers that with relatability, at least these people that at least these people can uh, can respect more. You don't. My my speaker have already told to you that you. You don't need to be 100% Caucasian for Caucasian people to relate to you. Meaning that even in the slightest of cultural assimilation, these people can still st can still respect you. Meaning that you can still actually respect your culture in the first place. They never giving you the efficacy on why, with confidence and pride of your culture, then this will be effective. My my uh, my speakers have already rebutted their idea on this confidence, right? Because what because what the majority holds on is on their pride themselves. Secondly, uh, secondly, they say that they're different, right? Now this is actually will be achieved better on government side of the house because the discrimination is happening because of two things. One, that is because of the looks. Secondly, it's because of the behavior. They think that their looks are different. They think that their behavior is different. We think, we say to you that we cannot change our looks. If you're born Japanese, you would have to deal with it, right? But we can change our behavior. You can start to actually respect other people. You start to follow their culture to the point that these people see that you understand their culture so that they can understand uh, understand their culture. It goes vice versa. It goes both ways. We say to you that the confidence side of the uh, confidence that this broke by opposition cannot be valid because they never debunk the idea that, e that the majority is still pride in itself. Exactly because of their pride, you cannot fight them with confidence. What you will have in confidence is two sides of, two sides of people uh, having, uh, having to proud each other, saying that each, uh, each of their culture is the best, and what do we have is the minority will still be, will still be attacked in the first place. When the, when the majority feels like you're confident with your own thing, means that you're different, means that just it just gives them enough more justification to attack you in the first place. We said that even with the emotional, we said that uh, we said that confidence is not enough. But the second argument, uh, the second thing that they saw. Uh, 
propose on protection is the idea of uh, is the idea of emotional burden that is given by uh, from your parents. This is not exclusive from a position. My first speaker have already told you with their, uh, with her uh, with her trade off that one culture doesn't necessarily go that fast, right? Because if you are uh, if you are born and raised in a neighborhood that uh, really supports your culture in the first place, that means you will still have that culture in the first place. But even if that this culture actually uh, that that is, that this culture actually harms you in the first place, then you don't actually need to protect this culture. But even if that what they say is about the emotional support, it will also happen on government side of the house. And exactly because we don't because it's because exactly of the culture we are being attacked then we can actually sacrifice some of that culture on its own we don't need this to necessarily protect all of our culture because the main point is survivability especially as parents ladies and gentlemen they say that uh, with this or uh, we say that even when discrimination exists, government of the house still is better. What opposition says to you is that uh, only uh, it's only that oh these people will still sustain their life because of their confidence. They never says to you why these kids with a uh, with their uh, labil uh, labil emotion. Then when they are being attacked with this confidence, then it will be enough. We say that if you're imposed to, to such an uh, a toxic uh, to toxic environment, these kids won't survive, right? But it's it's better on government of the house because even when discrimination exists there is at least a small percentage of people that can relate to you that can understand your position that can understand that you understand them meaning the support is only given by governments of the house opposition fails the idea of protection the idea of respect only exists on government second clash there is the parents one they say to you that what of uh, uh, that what the opposition says to you that what parents want is for is to hold the culture in the first place. What we say to you as the obligation of parent in itself is to protect their uh, is protect their children is to make sure that they uh, that they make sure they can actually understand. Uh, and, uh, they can actually survive their daily life because when we're talking about culture, it's really not about uh, it's really not about, uh, not about wayang or batik, ladies and gentlemen. It's also about how you go to the how you go and meet other people. It's about these small things that re that makes you relatable with them. We say that this we say that what opposition wants from these parents is. Uh, it's not enough of a justification because what they uh, because if what they want is to protect the culture in its uh, in the first place, they never given to you why in the uh, in the first place. Then uh, then this uh, idea of saving culture is absolute upon the survivability of the children in the first place. My speakers have already compared to the, these two ideas, meaning that the idea of survivability or the uh, or the protection of these children by actually forcing, uh, by actually supporting them to assimilate with the society is much better on our side. Let's take, so on the idea of parents, we say the government of the house wins, right? Because they say their argument cannot stand. But let's let's take this to a more, uh, to a more great, uh, broad argument. They say that uh, by the people can accept minority. We, we say to you that all majority, uh, not all majority are by the people, meaning that even in the majority there are still going to be people that respect you anyway. Opposition never given you the efficacy, never given you the protection, and what they want is to only enforce their children to have a worse life. Pro, uh, support for government of the house.